I still think. Hold on. Let me make sure my mic. Yeah, my mic is on. I still think the first prototype was better than Infamous. The first Infamous. But we have moved on from that. Okay. Uh, prototype 2 was unbelievably horrible. Uh, and it was a big letdown. I tried my best to boost it up, but it didn't help at all. And I highly doubt there would be a prototype 3. So, RIP to prototype. This is Infamous Second Son, a game that is on PS4, an exclusive, of course, made by Sucker Punch. And it's an amazing game. It looks good. It plays well. It's fun. It, um, you do, you have certain things that you have to do in each, um, what is it, each part of the city to clear it. And, you know, in other games, it felt like it was very repetitive, but in this one, it felt fun. Like, the, the, um, a lot of it was, uh, they had secret agents that you had to go find and you killed them, and then you had to do a lot of spray painting. Uh, it's really cool. So, um, I'm really, one of the, uh, the other things about Infamous was this right here. You see that yellow down on my little mini map, you see that, that truck that's moving, and then, uh, you see the yellow and black emblem what that is it's a mission marker that uh, allows you to do side missions but these side missions require you to log on to a website outside of the game and interrogate the evidence that you find in the game and it adds an extra element of the game it's called paper trail so you got to go on infamous paper trail.com you link your ps your playstation account to it and then from there it works with the game to allow you to solve the crime and i'm not really going to get into the crime uh, what it is because i don't want to ruin it for anybody but it's really good one part had me actually take the information that was found in the guy's wallet and then log on to a fake private investigating site to get more information so it's not bad uh, but that's not what this video is about this video is about uh, me being partnered with zoom and games I know there were a lot of questions about zoom and games as far as what what they were all about and if they were legit and I will say that after being I partnered with them for a year. They are legit. They do pay. Uh, it, it's pretty awesome. Um, like I said before, they were just starting. So uh, when I joined, there weren't a lot of features, but there are a lot more features now. Like each member has their own dashboard that allows you to track payments and you, you can ask them questions about support and they give you uh, a, <clears throat> wow, a section just for uh, uh, what is it like royalty free music and everything like that for people who want to add like some jingles or some tunes to their videos which I've done before I don't do it very often because of my current setup but I have done it before and it's nice to have that option so uh, uh, Zoom and Games is also very very active on Twitter and when people ask some questions they do respond and Overall, I'm really happy with the the outcome, and I'm really glad I joined Zoom and Games. So, if anybody's out there still on the on the fence about it, and uh, the I, I, the thing I like about it the most is that they're consistently adding features, so it's not stagnant to where uh, you you just sign up and then that's it. This is just what they have to offer, and that's all. Uh, but you do, I, I mean, like I said, they're adding features and I do follow them on Twitter and they're consistently adding, uh, letting us know, keeping us updated on the, the new features and what they're working on. And these guys also go to, uh, the major video game conventions and stuff. So it's not like it's a bunch of, it's not like it's a company that just wants to take some of your ad revenue and just to get their name out there no these guys are really out there going to these conventions and they're doing things and they're really uh keeping abreast of all the video game uh the video game industry so i'm really happy about it um i'm not really happy about this video uh <laughs> it, it, 
usually because I beat the game already, but they had there would be like a raid or something and there would be a fight going on. And the whole reason why I wanted to record this game is to show you guys that, yes, there's a uh, there are things to do after the end of the game, uh, especially if you get all of the uh, what is it? All of the the nodes, I think the, the shards, not the nodes, the shards to level up everything. So I guess I can show you guys what you get. Um, if you haven't beaten the game, this is straight up spoiler alert. But uh, you start off with smoke, which is pretty cool. I liked it. I did not upgrade smoke all the way because I, I probably could. I don't think I'm going to do that. Let's see if I get a trophy for it. I still have eight shards left. Oh, okay. Never mind. Uh, you start off with smoke and then you get neon. I like neon because with neon you can do what is it? Um, no, that's video. Where's neon? Up oh, here's neon. You can do the light speed, and then if you upgrade that all the way, you get endless speed, which means you just keep running forever, and it's pretty fast. Concrete is the last one you get. That's the whole reason why you came to Seattle. Uh, oh wait. There we go. No? Nothing? I don't get anything. Alright. And video is the last um, power that you get. Video is what I'm using right now. For the longest time, I would jump on these uh, rooftops and I would see these antennas or satellites. I'm like, what the hell are they for? And this is what they're for. But anyway, uh, I'm not having it. Just telling you something about uh, Zoom and games, and hopefully you guys feel better about joining them. I've been with them for a year, and they are legit. So, not having it in the Game Caviar Lounge, and I'm out.